Hey guys. Hey guys. So we just got back from watching uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Sure did. First impression? Loved it. Oh my god. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a really well put together anthology type movie. Yeah. Um, I mean, Cloverfield, if they wanted to take the Cloverfield name and just make it an anthology series, something completely different every single time they come out with a movie, I would be for it, for sure. This one definitely killed it. This one definitely had one of those kind of Twilight Zone feels, and <clears throat> I mean that's enough for me because I like the Twilight Zone anyways, but the original, the black and white. Um, but it definitely had that J.J. Abrams sense from the other movie as well. It had, it felt like it was in the felt same. Felt like the world. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing is, is that I didn't really care for the the other Cloverfield because I can't really do POV movies, and this one is definitely not a POV movie. No. Um, this one definitely had more of a more natural type, beginning, middle, and end type theatrical release. Um, but it's very psychological thriller almost. It's hard to explain. Yeah, it's really it hard really to explain. It really is because you you want it. Something happens here, something happens here, and you're like, oh, okay, I get that you, once you think you know, and it's like, no, he's actually doing this, or this, this person's doing this, you're like, wait a minute, that's not what they're doing? And it's just... us trying to describe it is exactly how the movie goes. It's a 180 this way, and then a 180 the other way. My perception of this movie and the characters in the movie completely changed multiple times throughout the movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they do a really damn good job of... I think that John Goodman did a phenomenal job. All three of them. The, the three of them in this movie yeah. killed it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I was on metaphorically the edge of my seat the entire time I was watching it. The one thing that I would say too is don't ex go in here expecting it kind of like the Cloverfield movie. Expect a bottle episode is bottle the best episode. way I could put it. Bottle episode definitely but it for me personally it, it kept me because I wanted to know I really did and it was just it, it's worth it definitely the huge payoffs plot twists Amazing characters, suspense, drama. Um, they did a damn good job with this movie. So, And they did set it up for a sequel. So. <laughs> and we did see it in IMAX, so definitely if you could see it in IMAX, go and see it that way. Um, otherwise, I don't think you're going to lose anything if you go see it in uh, non-IMAX, but still. Uh, the and music, it's not a 3D. Yeah, no so 3D standard, standard IMAX, but the music is incredible. Um, I really did like the music. Bear McCreary did the music for it, Battlestar music, Galactica, definitely. Walking, uh, Walking Dead. Dead. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he is uh, a great composer, and, and this movie definitely benefited from his music right off the bat. It has an ongoing theme throughout the movie that starts almost immediately, and the things that they do with it from beginning, middle, and end, it helps. It, it helps does. a lot. So definitely check it out. Um, I recommend it, for sure. I recommend it, too. Yep. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time whenever we watch a good movie. Now it's time for us to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.